What's up guys, Acosta here to discuss tongue microanatomy. So the tongue enables us to taste food and within the tongue are papillae. So this here is the valate papillae. You can see it here at the top as well as from the side. And within the papillae are taste buds. So this here is the taste bud and then this is the nerve which travels along and eventually gets to the insula of the brain where we interpret the taste of the food. So in order to activate this taste bud, the uh, molecule has to bind to its uh, receptor here found within the microvilli of the cell. So once the molecule binds to its receptor, it'll then activate this cell and then from there the action potential will be transmitted along this nerve. Okay, so now that we have a general understanding of taste, let's now get into the anatomy. So this here is the root of the tongue, and then this is the body, and then here at the top, this is the apex. So you also have, uh, here this is the epiglottis, and then this is the, the tonsil. So this here is the lingual tonsil, and this is the palatine tonsil. So you can see both of those structures here on the half head model. So you can see the tongue, this here is the lingual tonsil, this is the palatine tonsil, and this here is the epiglottis. So now if we look at the sulcus of the tongue, so that's what this is right here. So this is the terminal sulcus, and this is the median sulcus. So the terminal sulcus, that's what divides the anterior two-thirds of the tongue from the posterior third of the tongue. So now let's identify the different uh, types of papillae. So I've already pointed out the valate papillae, and then you also have the fungiform papillae as well as the filiform papillae. So both of those are found here on the anterior two-thirds, as well as the foliate papillae, which is here on the side of the tongue. So if we look at the top of this model, I've already pointed out the valate papillae, and then this is the terminal sulcus, and then you can also see the fungiform papillae, as well as the filiform papillae. So these filiform papillae, they actually provide uh, some friction. So for instance, if you're eating ice cream, this is going to help to get that ice cream off of the cone. Okay, so let's look at it here from this side, and I want to point out the epithelium. So this epithelium is uh, non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So that's here, and then you can also see at the top, this is where the lamina propria is. So you have the lamina propria as well as the um, lingual aponeurosis. So the lingual aponeurosis is what's keeping these this um, skeletal muscle here in place, right, because it's this connective sheath that's connecting uh, the muscle with the epithelium um, here at the top. You can also see uh, Ebner's gland, or Ebers glands. They're also known as the gustatory uh, glands here. So if we look at the model here, we can also see, so I've already pointed out that the tonsil is back here, right, the lingual tonsil. And so the lingual tonsil is responsible for immunity. So you can see the crypt here, as well as this is just lymphatic tissue, uh, but then to get more spe specific, this is the lymphoid um, follicle here. So the lymph follicle is there, and then you can see the mucous glands there, and then this here is where the, the muscle is um, at the bottom. All right guys, so now let's take a look at the different types of cells found within the taste bud. So you have type one, type two, type three, type 4, and type 5. Here at the bottom, you can see the basal lamina, and then this here is the basal cell. So, for instance, when you eat something that's really hot and you burn your tongue, the basal cell is responsible for regenerating this stratified squamous epithelium. You also have a similar case here with type 4. This will also functions as a stem cell to regenerate these other guys. Okay, so a couple of other different structures. You have the taste pore, and then this is the microvilli at the top. So now let's talk about some of the specific functions of these different types of cells. So for type 1, the receptors found within this microvilli, they respond to salty foods. Type 3, this is responsible for very acidic foods. And then for type 2, this is for the G protein coupled receptors. So I like to remember USA 
So uh, umami, sweet, as well as alkaloid. So umami refers to the amino acids. So for instance, glutamate and aspartate. Those will bind to their receptor found within that microvilli. And then for sweet, that's just for really sugary foods. And then for alkaloid, that's for uh, bitter tasting uh, compounds. So for instance, caffeine, that's an example. So once you activate that secondary messenger system, that signal will be transmitted along this nerve until it finally uh, gets to the insula. So now let's look at the tongue and see the different innervations by the cranial nerves. So this top one is depicting just sensation itself. So just stroking the tongue, the cranial nerve that's used is cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal. So that's for the anterior two-thirds. For the posterior two-thirds, that's cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal. And then cranial nerve 10, that is uh, vagus. So then this tongue is showing actu the actual taste buds themselves, what cranial nerve is used. So here, this is uh, cranial nerve... So this one was cranial nerve uh, 5, so this one is cranial nerve 7, so facial. Uh, for the posterior, for the posterior third, this is cranial nerve 9, and then this is cranial nerve 10. So I said the posterior, uh, the posterior third, but you can see that there's a little bit of, of overlap here. So for instance, the valate papillae, which is right here, you can see that the valate papillae, it's utilizing uh, cranial nerve number 9 here. So it's a little bit in front of where that anterior um, two-thirds is as far as uh, for taste. So also, so for instance, the fungiform and the filiform papillae, that sensory information is going to be transmitted uh, here in the front right by cranial nerve um, 7. And then remember that the foliate papillae, that's um, here on the side. So that'll be for uh, cranial nerve uh, number 9. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video.